Hello, this is Wempire, uh, here to talk about grip theory. Okay, so I just came back from the backyard doing yard work with the machete. And uh, in this practice, I was realizing some things, um, just confirming some stuff that, that I've been thinking about. Uh, okay, so when you first start in Filipino martial arts, the first thing is that you want a solid grip. Okay, this is, this is obvious. So like when you're practicing this, twirling the stick, okay, you learn that it's easier to twirl the stick open. Therefore, I see a lot of people doing it. And I, I've even, I've been highly criticized about this, but I, I even said to students, if it's going to help you learn how to twirl the stick, go ahead and open your hand. However, however, you want to get away from that as fast as possible because for real life application, you don't want to be twirling the stick with an open hand because it, you don't have a solid grip. You could easily drop it and stuff. And people were like, oh, that's a bad habit. Oh, that's terrible. How could you say that? Look, if you know what you're trying to aim for, then this is just a stepping stone. It's just practice. It's, it's like you're you know, doing jump rope you know, or you're doing running or you're doing uh, sit-ups and push-ups, but that doesn't mean I'm going to fight that way. I, it's a stepping stone. It's something to help me develop something, and I know what the proper thing is. The proper thing is to keep your uh, fist as close as possible and have a solid grip, okay? So you want to get there as fast as possible, okay? So that being said, though, when you watch a lot of footage of the Filipino uh, masters over in the Philippines, you're going to see that their grip is more open. And you go, why? Why is that? Why are these guys holding the stick, knife, or sword so loosely like this? And, you know, once again, if you do yard work, go, go get a machete and do some yard work and, you know, go cut things for real. And when you're starting making real contact and hitting targets for real, uh, you're going to start to notice that if you have a really tight, solid grip, that it takes a toll on your hand. So what would help you in the yard is to wear gloves. So if I wore gloves, you know, could I go hard longer? For sure. For sure. But that doesn't teach me the proper skill of gripping. The mechanics, the details of how to grip more efficiently and effectively. No, it doesn't. You know, so... I don't wear the gloves and sometimes I even use a skeletonized knife on purpose so that it actually hurts if I grip it wrong. And I practice that way like on a tire, it's hard. So when you start doing that kind of training, you're going to realize that a real tight solid grip isn't the best thing. Okay, You only do that if you're really worried about dropping the weapon, you do that. But at other times, when you want to cut, when you want to stab it effectively and efficiently, that's not the way to go. It, it really messes up your body mechanics. So as you get better, as your skills improve, then this is, this is as simple as it gets. The more you are able to have a looser grip. Okay, of course, you, you are playing with fire. Of course, you're going to be vulnerable to dropping it, to having it taken away. But remember, you're better, so you're able to do that. Uh, I, I like to say this to a lot of martial arts students, a lot of martial arts people, is that when you first start training in martial arts, there's a lot of don't do this, don't do that. But as you get better, you're able to break those rules. So this is the exact same idea. As you get better and better, your grip starts to get looser and looser. You're able to use those at the right time and effectively because there are plenty of benefits to holding the stick, the knife, looser. And it's not just loose, you know, whatever. No, there's a, a way to do it, okay? There, there is very specific ways where you focus on the bottom three fingers or you might be focusing on the top three, you know, where for different kinds of snapping methods, okay? And just in general, the fingers over here are very good at shock absorption. When you involve the thumb and you close it, then it, it turns into a fist. So now you're just using your whole fist. 
and, and that's not very good at taking impact. But if you just use your four fingers here and focus more on that, it does a much better job. Okay, so just to let you know, and uh, these are some ideas for grip beginner all the way more to advanced. So that's it for now. Thank you for viewing and take care, folks.